What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. Red Thorn, Elder Scrolls Blades, second impressions. Not very good impressions for the second round. Last time I did a video on the Elder Scrolls Blades was on 28 March. I had 69 hours worth of treasure boxes to open. 17 three hour silver chests and three six hour gold chests. Well, I have this final one to open. 69 hours is less than three days. It took me six days to open all this stuff. And I have not played this game except to come in and open boxes and then close it out. Let's see what we're getting. Standard stuff from the silver box. I like getting the smithing material, all the materials. And that's the whole purpose of these boxes, I, I believe. You get weapons and armor that upgrade you, uh, make you stronger, obviously. I've gotten quite a few of that. In fact, I've gone from the basic starter stuff to, to some pretty great things for the beginning of the game. One of my main quests, this one, used to be filled with four skulls. It's now down to one. And that was four skulls at level 11 with the gear that I had. And now it's down to one after opening all those boxes. Which is great. Here's the problem though. The problem is, is that uh, 69 days, or 69 hours worth of, of boxes. Sure, I could have continued to play the game while I was waiting for the boxes to open. But then I would have to skip any random treasure boxes that are out there, thereby losing out on what could potentially be st stronger equipment or more crafting material. And if anybody didn't know, this game is a town building game. They call it a role playing game. I call it a town building role playing game. A TB RPG, all right? And I put town building first because virtually everything you do, with the exception of the arena, is geared towards building your town up. Now, I've only just begun the game, so that may change, but th this is my second impression, that this game is not just a straight-up role-playing game, all right? They threw town building in there, <laughs> and that's pretty much all you do is try to build your town. Sure, you go on quests to get materials to build up your town. I haven't even fought in the arena yet. So I don't even know what that's like. I don't even want to know at this point. We're gonna sell some of this stuff. I don't wanna buy, I wanna sell. And this guy doesn't even have any money to, to pay me. So now I'm stuck. I'm at 16 out of 20 inventory space. I think you can spend 10. That is a good purchase, by the way. Spending 10 greens for 10 slots, I will do that. All right, and the same thing goes for your treasure boxes. Your chests. You can, you start off with the ability to hold 10. It costs 10 greens to upgrade it to 20. The next upgrade is 40. I don't think that's worth that. And no doubt it's going to obviously continue to rise. But why would you want to put m more... Why would you want to open up the space for more chests? It already took me 69 hours to do 20 of them. Can you even imagine what 30 or 40 or 50? How long? You would never be able to open up all those chests. You would literally just be sitting here waiting and skipping potential good stuff from chests that you can no longer get because your inventory is full as you sit here and wait. So here's my my solution to this this uh, this issue, all right? One, allow us to open up more than one chest at a time. Two, allow us to open up one of each type of chest. Okay, wooden, buy, wooden chest, five seconds, no problem. Silver chest, three hours. Gold chest, six hours. So allow us to open up a gold, silver, and wooden at the same time. And I think there's other, uh, even better chests out there. I think one of them is called Elder Chests. 
So maybe, maybe three at a time, or at the very least, allow us to open two at a time. To speed up how long it takes to open up all these, all these chests. Alright? I think those are pretty valid solutions to this chest problem. And yes, you can obviously continue to play the game while your chests are opening and at full inventory. But what's the point? You're missing out on stuff. It's a town building game. You need the materials from the chests. Which means you need to open them. And you can't do that when you're sitting here waiting three to six hours for each of these chests. To me, that's, that's absolutely insane. But what we're going to do now, it is 1900 Eastern Standard Time. I want to see how long it takes me to fill the the inventory by doing quests. So let's do some quests. I've gotten a little bit, it's, it's been six days, so I'm probably a little rusty on this whole combat thing. And the camera thing, no doubt. Oh, that wasn't it. Yeah, I'm absolutely terrible. I do not like the, the, the movement. I don't like the way this movement is done. But it's kind of it's kind of like they they transition from how stuff like this is on PC over to mobile, which, in all honesty, is, this is most likely the best way that they could do this. Any hidden areas here? No, I guess not. Alright, so I made a joke and it looks like he ran away. So we'll just follow this. I'm probably missing all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna run ahead of him. Hello. What happened here? What's up, dude? So it looks like the main quests are your best bet to avoid filling up your chest inventory space. Rusty at this. I don't like that. I'm used to something faster. There we go. I see. Oh, that's 
see dead people. Where am I? I'm like in the air. Hidden area. That's not that's not much of a secret. Okay, here's the first chest. Not much of a secret though. That was pretty funny. Hopefully they get harder later on. That. Like, I'm tapping on these skills, and they're not doing anything. I, I just don't get that. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm missing, because my green bar is full. The skill is available. It's not working. Alright, well, we found the secret, so we can just follow the blue line now and finish this off. Second one. That is outstanding. Talk to people in town to gain more quests. Well, here's a. Uh, I just want to see how how fast you can fill up your inventory, and really the job the jobs are the fastest way to do it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut all this stuff out because we're going to see. We're at 14 minutes right now. I have what three chests out of 20. I'm going to play this until I'm full, and then I'll come back and let you know how long it took, and then we'll figure out how long it's going to take to open up all those chests again. Okay, it has been exactly one and a half hours since I started, and as you can see here, I am 20 out of 20 with two golden chests and 18 silver chests. I don't even want to do the math, but it's going to be around 69 hours, it's going to be a little different than that but it's gonna be around 70 hours I mean and, and that's it I have to sit here and let's see I guess I can start unlocking this one because I won't be playing this game until these are open to see what I get before I can start building on my town and all this other stuff this, this is insane I don't like this I do not like this right here I think this is garbage I understand why it's being done I really do understand okay I do but I think it's garbage and that's, that's all I gotta say about that. Other than that, I've gotten a lot better with, uh, at this game. I've gotten, uh, I'm, what am I, level 14 or some insanity now? I'm level 14, I just made 14. Didn't really get anything, got a, except for, you know, potions and alchemy, building materials, things like that. I probably should go and, and repair this stuff, because this thing's about to, I'm a big shield user. I think it's about to go. But there you go. That I mean, now it's another six days until I can really go back to getting chests again. I don't like that at all. They need to allow us to do more. For sure. Open more chests. Different chests. Cut down the, the time it takes to open silver chests. I mean, I, there's, there's a lot of different solutions. But I guess whatever makes them money is the solution 
they're going to choose. Ladies and gentlemen, hit subscribe if you haven't. It's free to do so. And come hang out with me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.